Bye, Luna. Oh, that is weird. See if I can break Twitch's ads again today. Hi, AJ. And my ads are jacked up again. Okay, I don't know what happened with the ads then. They got all jacked up. Rabbi! It's, it's a crafty Sunday, Rabbi. That means 
Wavy can come out and play, right? All right. I think both of my ed breaks have ended now. Um, I think. Hey, did that work? I did. All right. That one. What is this playlist? Here, here. Watch me. Nice. Here we are. All right. Hi. We haven't done a craft stream in. No. Yes. Hi. It feels like years. Uh, ooh. Ah, uh, never mind. Um. Crafty hairs. So this is the thread. I think you can see the the shine on it more now. This is the thread that we got to use for the the fourth wall sub scarf chunks. Camera, please stop auto focusing. Property. Configure. Turn off all the automatic bullshit, please. Why? Why is there a low light filter? Literally a bright white LED. Okay, now I should stop freaking out. So yeah, it's really shiny. So I'm curious to see how it's gonna work. Um, and these are the threads that I got as free samples. Um, from the company that I ordered this from. I have no idea what to do with them, but they're very pretty. Yeah, it's gorgeous, right? I don't know how much is on there. It doesn't seem like there's a lot. Um, but that was from Handy Hands, I believe the company is. Um, put the thing somewhere. Um, so yeah, I think we'll, I'll get the yarn strung up if I can. Um, I still need to find out what people want for their fourth wall stripes. I think I'm just going to use the same. If I can't find out, I think I'm just going to use the same one. Um, so yeah, I think like if I if I don't know, at least for the first one, I'll just be the same as the, the color they picked for their uh, any other sub and then just add that. Unless someone picks something different. No, I think Luna, you picked orange for both. Yeah, <laughs> you've picked orange for both for May May anyway. I guess you're a creature of habit. Or 
orange is your favorite color well that's kind of what i figure is that most people are going to pick a color that they like anyway um so Or multitasking. Um. So yeah, I figure that'll work. Oh, my is still really sore. Who's that? Doing emote replies. Okay. Um. Sorry, just talking about admin stuff. So I figured I'd put the try and put the yarn together for May's subs as well as I can. Um and hopefully while I'm doing it, I'll get information from people, otherwise I'll just move the colours forward for for this month. Um I'm really paranoid about my eyes being sore. I'm worried that that nearing all coma shit's come back. Um. So yeah, do that, and then I have uh, a giant beat to work on, which is kind of priority. But I want to get started on this just because I want to see what this actually looks like. And I figure the best way of finding that out is to actually do it. Um, only thing I haven't, I don't know, is this yarn seems like it's going to unravel pretty fast. I don't know where the end of it is. Okay, I know the inside edge, but this is not center pole. Yeah, this is like a... Solid cardboard doodad. All right, how do I find the end in this? <laughs> ah, never mind, I got it. Thank you. Thank you for your help. Yeah, good job, Ravi. But I've done it without you. Yeah, I'm not. Honestly, this Alia gift box is perfect for, for holding yarn. Hey, no, I can never do such a thing. Um, all right, so what we're going to do is we're going to say
I mean, that is the only correct way of applying butter to tops. There is no other way. Oh. Now I want buttered tars. <laughs> All right. Oh God, what have I done? Let's do this. I'm just referencing. Wait, what? Oh, you maybe want toast. It's fine. It's an occupational hazard. Okay. Uh, fine, I'll use the search function. Black and pink. All right, let's go with pink. I have seen that emote so much in my chat. Toast loves that emote. It's amazing. If no, uh, how is Alpha not in here? This is definitely enjoyed. It's 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 like perfectly partnered with the croissant as well. Oh no, what is Molly showing? Oh, is that Jace's game? The game that Jace is working on, I should say. I think it is. Dude. I'm not watching another stream while I'm live, by the way. I wouldn't. I would. It's fine. <laughs> Okay, I don't know uh, the air. Oh, really? Interesting. I don't know that either. Um, last time, oh god, so much yellow. Pink. All right, I have placeholders for the colors now. Um, okay, you know what? Let's put this away. What is this? Size. Oh, it's called Among the Wild. We need to look at that. 
size 10. So the samples are big. I'm gonna put. I guess we'll just put this in the bag in the hope that I'll stop it from undoing. all the yarn the right way oh you try it all right oh yes please Remy. i would appreciate that it looks very cute Well, now I have to see it properly because all I saw was glimpses of it and I didn't hear it. So let's, uh, let's check this out. Thank you, Ravi. How do I do this? I, can I, can. How do I pop this out? Oh, like this. Ah. Okay, there we go. Brace for cuteness. Everything's in the wrong place. I feel like there's so much crap on my screen. I don't know. Really. All right. What is that? Ish. Look at that shape. Oh no. Oh dear. Oh. Oh. Pumpkins. Eggs. Resources. Pets. Farming.
that looks oh no they're like tribbles oh don't eat the frog you're gonna eat the frog oh he did a sneeze oh no a little rocky golem brain freeze Super cute. Okay. I love it. Excuse me. I'm going to post it and just... Where am I? It looks... It's interesting interesting that steam has flagged it as interesting to me because it's similar to sandrock and satisfactory i'm not really seeing any correlation to satisfactory except for jay's <laughs> but i don't know Looks very cute. All right, well, might as well sign up. Never know. I am on the list. All right, what am I doing? Putting the yarn together. All right, so uh, starting off with green or Ali. It's funny how some colors for this just don't seem to be as popular. But it's still pretty chaotic. Orange. Oops. <laughs> Apparently I'm not very good at tying knots today. Oh, I need my scrap.
Raid 4J. I just realized I haven't had my nails done since I actually had the manicure. I enjoyed having them long, but I've been keeping them like super short since. Baby blue. I've gone too long between doing crafts. Did it ping out of discos? It didn't. I don't know why it didn't ping out on Discord. In a double purple. <laughs> Hi, Ollie. Yeah, I don't know why it didn't ping out. Like, nothing has changed between yesterday and today. Like, no permissions have been revoked or anything. Oh god, what's going on? I love that you in there. Hello! Hi. Hi! Good morning! Good morning! So now I know that- Now I know who checks gets Discord notifications. I was, 
I was already wearing it. Cheeky shiz. I was waiting for get wrecked. And then she did that and I was like, well, there's me. <laughs> I'm done. Brat. Now, or six. What I ought to do is like a keyword thing. Like, put a keyword into my live notification in Discord to see who's using what. Except everyone will be like, Meh. So how did, did, did the rice come out okay on round two? Oh dear. Yes and no? <gasps> no! Oh no! But am I not turtly enough for the turtle club? Well that's a disappointment. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, that could be it. That's, I mean, that's always nice to do, though. Well, nice to have done. Not nice to do, but nice to have done. Flint did a big, like, went through the freezer last week. And uh, <laughs> had like a couple of days where we ate a bunch of uh, freezer burn stuff just to try and get use out of it. Well, shit, so much for 20 pounds of rice. Yeah. Oh, I can. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I think we've we've officially got to the time of year where we can't do anything else, <laughs> anything in the house now. Any big job involving large amounts of movement has uh is now officially on hold until october okay ali i have an important question for you i mean it's not really um but what color do you want for your fourth wall scarf chomp we're gonna add this to it shiny I call ooh that's exciting where we are now a breeze helps green I thought so I I did have green listed Oh, it's cooled down. It's now 99. Tomorrow's high is 100. 
And at the end of the week, it gets down to 90, which is positively wintry. But there's no, there's no high under 91 for the next 10 days in the forecast here. Just bollocks. Yeah, it's see, I don't know. It seems really early for it to, to be getting this hot. Or maybe I just have no sense of time anymore. Got rain coming tonight. We've got some coming through Tuesday, apparently. Thankfully, I don't have to do any yard work this week. Well, I can do the weed eating, but that's going to be a lot less stressful than mowing. Oh, the colors show in this camera for this um, thread that they sent me, Echo. So funny how the different webcams are. Can't do the front anymore. That's a shame. Yeah, it's really pretty. I'm, I'm not sure what to do with it. It may end up in my my Echo Care Pile package. And you can use it to fix holes. I do. Getting close to adding the first warhol. I tossed. Uh oh. Quasal. How did I manage to get that tied in a knot? Weaving without the loom. Look at you go. You're so fancy.
All right, now we get to see. Wow, hitting this wall. Hitting this wall. Hi, hello, welcome in. Hi, Bear. Smells ravey is right. Well, I mean, it could be worse. Um, I'm good, thank you, Bear. How about yourself? Hello. It's a lovely introduction. And also, thank you for using the pronouns. Uh, thinger. It, it would, Ali. Oh, hey, Echo, that looks really good. We're freehanding it. A moons and stars. He oh, that sounds like a lot of work. But also very cool. You like big crochet projects? I I like starting big crochet projects. Finishing That's a different story. Okay. So now This is where the experiment begins. Um, it's a it's actually a scarf. Um, oh god. So each section of oh that feels so different. Oh god, it's so low. Yeah. Um, every time uh, a subscriber we get a subscriber. Um. You can pick a color from the pride flag and uh i added a chunk of a fixed length to the scarf and then in january uh someone is going to win a very long uh very gay scarf yes uh, and so we're adding something new to it right now because we've just kicked off our full full memberships which is kind of like patreon and so now anyone who subscribes over on patreon gets uh, this extra strand of like iridescent red thrown in there so this is this is where the experiment begins and i'm not sure how it's going to work out i guess we'll find out Um, we've done sub craft projects for the last few years. Last year um, and the year before were blankets. Um, it's it's such a big commitment, and uh, one that I felt was was a bit much for my capabilities. So I was like, scarf, a scarf I can do. I can like catch up on a month in a in, a, in one craft stream. Yeah, I, I mean, I still haven't finished the second one, but the first one, yeah, yeah, we have lots of crafty folk here. So I used to do a craft stream every Sunday, um, but the last few months have kind of eased off because I get uh, a lot of hand pain um, and also getting a bit sort of burned out on stuff. So craft streams are now kind of like a... I don't know, not a special event, 
but crop streams have a unique place in our community's heart i think it's just everyone turns into little extra spicy chaos gremlins on sundays especially when i do crop streams i'm hoping the spicy chaos yes I'm hoping that will hold the floss. Do you think that that normal knot will be okay, Echo? It seems alright. It's, I'm pretty sure it is because I'm pulling quite hard and nothing's happening. Okay. Damn it. I just have to make sure I pull it evenly. Well, we're going to find out. Actually, what I should do before I go on any further is get crochet up to this point so I can work with this and see if it's actually feasible. Well, you, you know we're such sticklers for using the right language. Yes, Ali, you're a tester. <laughs> That's a good one. All right. Let's see, the length is different there. So it's, yeah, we're going to have to be a bit more circumspect. So I was like, we can either... I don't think there's a wild card in there, so I think it... I don't know if searching for word would give a different result. Oh, God. Um, it, it will give you a different, it would give you a random one, I think. So I wasn't sure if we were going to do the special fourth world ones at the end of the month or just as they come in. And I think it might be more interesting as they come in. So this project is kind of just evolving as we go. <laughs> yeah. I was I was not gonna lie, I was a little bit disappointed in that one. Because you know, like the Kobayashi Maru and then it's literally just like push a button and it it just like it searches it and picks it right now. Hi Bokwa. I was like, this is supposed to be hard. Like, the Kobayashi Maru, hello. I mean, I guess I'm just that good. Yeah. Ravi. I, some, yes, 
some say <clears throat> well yeah no I've got nothing my 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 best claim to fame is Molly telling me to get fucked in a, a high-pitched Australian accent and you know what that's okay I love it I think that's enough oh Flynn's playing Rekka already how does this happen it was pretty good like I said the, the little giggle sent me I was already dead but the giggle at the end just I was lost Hello there, Drax. Hi. Every Everything's fine. Let's see if I can remember how to do this crochet thing. Feels like it's been a long time. Hello. I hope you've had a lovely Sunday, Drax. We we are testing things today. We are doing a heckin' experiment. Um, and Ali is guinea pig again. Always testing patients. Uh, not not too bad. I uh, I have coffee today. I have this is my first cup of coffee in a couple of days. Uh, coffee and a donut for breakfast. So I can't complain. And we have ads starting soon. Maybe, maybe because the starting ads are janky as fuck again today apparently did you see the um the trailer for the the jace game i mean it, it has a name i just forgot what the name is Sorry. I like glanced over at Molly's room and I was like, oh no, what is this? Yeah, well, it's like, it's the Jace game. Whatever. Fluffy Jace game. A new watch for its head machine. Well, I. Yeah, that's it. Thanks. <laughs> 
or Fluffy J's game. Um, I I started my ads manually this morning. So again, this afternoon, sorry. So that's probably why I broke it. There's still a few days left on that Star Trek game, by the way. Uh, I, I've hit level 12 already. Streaming, okay. What? No, I still don't know. I, I think it's lying still. I genuinely think it's lying. <laughs> it's just like, ah. Oh, Ravi got up center level five. Amy just got level 10. All right. Y'all are making progress. Nice, thank you. Yeah, it took it took a bit to like push through. I need to um I need to like log in and just dump like all of my materials uh into the guild to see if we can level it up. Lynn said when he did it, he he literally just opened the alliance up to like the public and just did a shout. Yeah, it took me ages too. Okay, now we have ads. Yeah, basically. I think. Maybe. Okay, we have an ad break right now. Uh, no. I was pacing around a lot before stream, and this is my first ad break, so I think I'm pretty good. But I will definitely need time. Everyone needs a hydrate. That is true. I will do a hydrate. Thank you for asking, though. Mm. Everyone, everyone's got their own style um but yeah so i'm pretty sure i'm the only one who's got to 12 but i cheated well no i didn't cheat I used cash shop because they said I'd get reimbursed. So that's the only reason I did it. Um, but yeah, I need to bring it up because I have like a bunch of excess materials now. You're not trying. You're not cheating. You're not. Okay, I'll take it. Wait, did someone playing Fortnite tell you that? Or maybe Tarkov? But yeah, I have like a bunch of excess materials now. So Flynn said if I throw the Alliance doors open, I don't know how one does that, um, then I can get the, the that gold taken care of. Five. Okay, and we're back from ads. We have two days and 18 hours left. So, 
Um, but even like just getting to Ops 5 helps. A good friend from your childhood used to say it all the time. I kind of like it. Five. How do I? I think I do an increase in the last one. I don't remember. Oh, I can't remember. Uh, do I have a pet and save somewhere? I genuinely can't remember. It, my, my brain just... fell asleep. So, for those of you who uh, heard my story yesterday about the, uh, the the physical altercation with the rando person outside where Flint is okay, um, Guy turned up today to apologize. Which must have taken a whole lot of, of like, just... Oh, I don't I don't even know like that must have just been a lot um so apparently dude's wife was like all over him where is no that's not it Oh, is it that one? No, that's not it either. I think it's a combination of both. Um, because he knew that he'd done wrong. Like he, he knew he'd fucked up. Um. But I think part of it was probably he was like sitting there waiting to find out if Flint was going to press charges. Uh, they would have made me spin out like not knowing uh, what was going to happen. So I'm sure that plus, you know, other factors were what inspired him to like come say, like, come and apologize. So apparently they're BFFs now or something. I don't know. Can, can anyone remember if I do an increase on the last one or if it's just a single? I feel like it's an increase, but I'm not sure. I think it is an increase. I think I was more upset by the whole situation than he was. But then I've never been very good at conflict. Whereas Flint's just like, it's done now. <laughs> okay. Um, if you're wondering what happened, basically, uh, Cliff Notes is, uh, dude got wicked road rage at Flint blocked him off in the road, challenged him to a fight, and headbutted him. Uh, assault and battery. Uh, cop turned up and going off the information that Flint found, uh, provided, found where the guy lived, which was just around the corner. Cop turned on the guy's door and said, do you know why I'm here? And the guy's like, yeah, I fucked up. <laughs> um, so Flint had an option to press charges or not and was like I want to talk to him first and get a measure of the man 
And he's like, if he's not going to be an asshole, then I don't want to press charges. And I was like, okay, that's fair. So. But he's fine. Uh, but that is why I ended stream so weirdly on Thursday. Um, I had to go and like mama bear him. I still can't remember. Do I, did I put the pattern? The, the problem is I find uh, my physical reaction to violence is that I want to throw up. I hate it. I'm not good at at conflict in any way, shape or form. I just, uh, but I was also mad as all get out at the guy for, for doing what he did and for Flint as well, for getting out of the car. And I was just, I was furious. And I was like, okay, well, <laughs> I can't stream anymore. I'm too agitated and I was already off. So I was like, it's probably better if I just stop. Where? Please tell me I posted the pattern for the scarf somewhere. I didn't. What do we think? Is there an increase at the end? Man, I love scrolling up through our craft channels in Discord. Oh, I'm now overheating again. Can't find it. Let's do a search for scarf then. Uh, no, no. So, ready. Oh, scarf swatch. Oh, I found it. Okay, I think. Oh, well, maybe not. Maybe. Uh, two. Yeah, two in the last. Okay, that's what I wanted. Well, now I, for fuck's sake, now I can't remember if I'm supposed to increase at the start either. Yes. Okay, so an increase at the end and an increase at the beginning. Got it. There's a net in here and it's going to drive me bonkers.
for it. <clears throat> Everything looks fine. This is much more fun than the scarf to work on, uh, than the blanket to work on. Crochet feels weird though. I've done like a little bit of knitting uh, recently, but not really a lot of any crafting. Stop it. The net is trying to fly up my nose. I do not want a bug up my nose. I'm so thankful for having a search function in Discord. I'm getting cramp in my thigh.
tell if my bluetooth doodad is shitting itself or if it's the earbuds You brat! Fucking bugs. It's the uh, the technical. Oh my god, my chat has been paused and I've just been ignoring. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, chat has been paused for like ten minutes. I'm not ignoring you, I promise. Um, I need an increase at the be either beginning of the end. Yeah, okay. Punky answered question saying you can magic not and work over the extra bits. Yes, direct, yeah. That's what I said to him. It's like, don't get out of the car. He may have had a gun. And he's like, well, if he's going to pull a gun, he would have, whether I was in the car or not. So I was like, Bruh. Um, I did a search, Ravi. Should have waited to start weaving until I started streaming. Now you have a horrible knee cake. Echo. Please stretch. I, my chat just paused. My chat just stopped scrolling, and now I feel like a terrible streamer. Apparently so does this net that keeps on trying to fly up my, no fly up my nose. I'm not a fan of it, to be honest. I can. Oh god! That's fucking horrific! I don't, I don't even know why I have a net in here. I don't have any food. My tra I emptied my trash can today.
Oh god, that's awful. Like, how do you even process that? Ugh. See, this is why outside isn't good for you. There's things out there. <laughs> Trying to like crawl in your nose and stuff. Yeah, so I've, I've got one. And of course I'm drinking coffee as well, so my breath is hot. Ugh, these people, they ugh. Nets, man. Frickin' net. I'm also expecting it just to land in my coffee. I'm kind of hoping it does just land in my coffee. I think I need to get a vinegar trap in here. How's that vest coming along that you've been working on? Oh, nice. I think you said you were working on the... Waistband or ripping or something for it. So I assumed you were near finished. So what's next? Still trying to figure what I want to do for my my travel project. So Ravi found a cute like swimsuit cover up type thing. But I could also do with like a little like Like a bag to to carry stuff in and out. I mean, I could use grocery bags, again, but like like sunscreen and insect repellent and earbuds on phone and stuff when I go out to the yard. It would be handy. Like a little drawstring satchel type thing.
I was hoping to find a simple pattern with like an, an easy repeat that I can do with just a couple of skeins of yarn that I, I don't have to worry about too much. I can just like start working on it and not have to try and line things up. Because I don't think I can go for a couple of weeks, let alone a month, without having some craft project to work on. Or to avoid. Like I need, I need something for my hands, right? Especially if I'm watching a show or listening to something. Wait, I didn't get it. But yeah, I figured a crochet project is going to be easier than the travel, easier than knitting, because it doesn't matter if you drop something really. And probably easier than cross stitch. Is it something that I can just sort of pick up and put down whenever? I don't know, I might take a cross stitch up as well. I almost finished the dog one, I just have to do the back stitching. Yeah, that's the kind of bag I figured would be handy for like going out to the yard to the pool or something. But I also do want to have like a, 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 a wrap, a cover all, cover up thing for being in the pool. But yeah, the dog cross stitch is almost finished. It just has back stitching to do, which means it's going to sit there on the hoop for a long time. And the flower one is still just over half finished. And the pizza I started, but I have no interest in finishing it. So I guess I need to find maybe something else. Yeah, that kind of thing. Ravi seen said something that was like an open one, but yeah, it's basically just a couple of triangles stitched together part way. Uh, triangle rectangles. If I can find the one that Ravi shared. Oh, here. This is, oh, it's a summer, it's called, this one's called a summer caddy, but this is the one that Ravi found. 
that I thought would be quite cute to do and just I could find like a mandala or something Yeah, and it looks kind of nice. It looks simple too. There's only eight inches of seams on it, apparently. But yeah, I thought that like that could be like a nice simple thing to work on. You know, when an, when you're in a car and you don't have to pay attention really to what you're doing. And it looks like it's easy enough to scale or to swatch to. So maybe that's what I need to do. I need to find like do that and then which is like a, a simple project and then something that's got a little bit more brain power required like a, a, a nice little cross stitch to work on. There's two different craft projects that will will keep my brain going when I'm not streaming. And when I'm left to my own devices for two weeks. So honestly, I was also thinking it might be handy just to get a microfiber robe and be done with it. Yeah. So like, you know, the, the no brainer for traveling and watching something that you're really engrossed in and then like the brain one for when you're watching something that you've you don't really need to pay a lot of attention to. Yeah. I wonder if I can find a cute kit somewhere. Do I actually like the look of? The problem is, I'm really cheap. And I don't like the cost of the Dimensions kits. <laughs> like, I like the Dimensions kits. But I'm cheap. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah. I mean, I would, but I still don't really know what floss I have. Like, I've just got, like, a... a, a gallon Ziploc bag with a, a fuckload of floss and different shades and colours and things. I think... Like, it's good for a home, but I was like, for travel? Oh, wait, this. Hot flash. Hot flash. Hot flash. Oh, this is cute! Oh no, it's begun. Oh god. Is it gonna work? Yeah. I like that. Right, now I've got a, a catch at the back of my throat and I don't know if it's because I inhaled the bug. Or if it's just not being able to operate my body properly. So I mean, guess like that one, there's not too many colors. It would be that difficult to, to um, dig them out of my collection. Not a fan of the, the uh, pansies, to be honest. Apparently, dumpster fire cross stitch is uh, a pretty common search. Ooh, I like that one even better. It's a dumpster fire, and then it says, "Be the light you want to see in the world." Maybe, I don't know. I don't know if that would be too simplistic for a travel win. A spark joy or get out, oh, I like that too. I mean, that dumpster fire one looks pretty simple.
they have I have a bunch of 12 and 14 count as well of the item And I was like, oh no, I've started it now. Now everyone's searching Etsy for cross stitch patterns. I kind of like that one. The strongest steel is forged on the fire of a dumpster. There's <laughs> another one is like home sweet home, but it's dumpster fire, sweet dumpster fire. No, this is cute. Oh no, go away, weird shopping thing. Fuck off. Huh. This is a ooh. This is actually really wholesome. I like that one. Oh, you do? That's cute. That's a lot of bees. Is it all stitched? Oh no, that's just on blue flower. A kind of like Majestic Dumpster Garden. Oh, that's twelve dollars. I'm too cheap for that. <laughs> Okay, so that's that's a possibility then something like that and then simple crochet and that way it's two different crafts so if my hands get sore from one I can do something else. Two different brain levels.
I'll have a look and see if I can find something that's off Etsy though. I bet there's some good ones on Ravelry. <laughs> Oh, I'm so sweaty. I'm really curious to see what this thread is going to look like. Far away for me. I think counting to five I could do without having to count out specifically. It is anything above four and my brain's like, no, wait, stop. Do that again? That doesn't look right. Apparently that's a thing, like most people can recognize four, four objects and instantly count them. Like instantly identify that there are four, but if there's five, the brain has to stop and itemize them. Weird. Definitely feel like I've got a catch in my throat again.
Okay. Thank you. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> There's a candy corn one. This is fuck's sake. I don't like you either. <laughs> You're my favorite pain in the ass. My favorite color is glitter. Sarcasm is my first language. Saying fuck a lot is my second. Yeah, this is good. Thank you. I, I mean, I just, Etsy is just a bit, you know. <laughs> Being gay is like glitter. It never goes away. I'm honestly kind of glad that I didn't get started with trying to sell things there. blue and the yellow are just like so minion now Hmm. All right, ads in 30 seconds. Maybe. Also play? Yes. All right, I'm going to stand up and stretch. And... Um, I'll be back in a few minutes. Uh, you should stand up and stretch too. I'll see you soon.
turn. I was like, feels warm out there. This is the kitchen. That's the thermostat in the kitchen. This is why we're not cooking right now. I know I've been grumbling about it a lot about it, but still here. Yeah. yeah, exactly. We're getting close to the the new fourth wall stripe. Wait, did I do? All right, I almost missed the increase there. your bookshelf um come out did the polish help with the stink I went to consider food and then decided that I wasn't that hungry after all. Because I'm a big baby. Oh, that's good. Very good. Yeah. Oh, geez. Yeah, I hadn't thought about that. I bet you ended up a bit grubby after that. Hi, Amelia. Oh, uh, Toast and Amelia. I don't know if you have a preference of color for your your stripe, the for your fourth wall color se section.
I put I just put you down as like the same as the other one. Um so your fourth wall thing means you get another scarf section. Okay. You like yellow or orange? I think I hit you down for yellow. Make it orange because it's after a massive section. Okay. So what we'll do is there'll be a, a section and then we've got this uh, iridescent thread. Kind of hard to see right now, but it's like a metallic iridescent shiny shiny that we're going to add to it. Yeah, exactly. So we're coming up to the first section with the, the fancy thread, just because I wanted to test it first. Man, I really like that one that I linked from Etsy. Oh, my bet. I need to go back to Dollar Tree and find some. Last time I went, I wanted peppermint tea, I went to Dollar Tree and they had, I remember the name of the brand, started with tea, but they had boxes of peppermint tea for a dollar, um, but it was actually 100% peppermint leaves, it wasn't like peppermint flavoring, so I bought, I don't know if it was that, tea, Tezo maybe? But I bought a bunch of it to use just to throw into like foot soaks and baths. So I'd have a foot soak and I just put a couple of like peppermint tea leaf tea bags in the bath soak and then it's like fresh peppermint but no mess. That was a while ago though. I mean that was back in the olden days when stuff at Dollar Tree was a dollar. Back in my day. Yeah. I need to do that with some of my berry teas. This is supposed to be chill and atmospheric music. I feel like I'm about to go on a game show now.
Yeah. But like one of those ones where like she's gonna run from one end of the island to the other, belting an egg on a spoon while people are th throwing fiery grenades at her. And you go like duck and wheat and stuff. I don't know why I thought of that as being something intense. I mean, I suppose it would be pretty intense. I don't know. Weird reality TV. We're about to start the experimental fourth wall. Dang. Hi, I It's pretty subtle. I think I like it. I just don't know if it's... I don't know if it stands out or not. But I don't think that would make any difference with the color. Yeah? All right. It looks good on the top end. <laughs> I think it is. That's the point, is it just adds a little something. You can see it and it looks okay. Yeah. 
put a pick in crafty chat just for close up. Baker's <laughs> like on it. Yeah, just a little little sparkle. A little something something. No. <laughs> no, I don't. Okay. <gasps> Thank you. Hi, why? Big M. Which? I can see because I have BTTV installed. BTTTTV. Okay. So we know that works. Where's my thing? Where did the thing go? Uh, but we, we, oh, here. We're good, Wayne. I hope you're doing good too. More gardening adventures, I'm assuming, today. Oh, me. It's, it's actually the nice thing with this, with this uh, thread, it's not too rough. Like, I can feel it. But it's not like scratchy. Lots of gardening and outside time. Nice. <laughs> and how did was it was it the lilac wax that you were making? How did that come out? Was it lilacs? I feel like it was lilac. I got a, a replacement weed eater this week. That's right. Oh, that's amazing. I'm so glad it worked. <laughs> yes. Get off my finger. Oh, that's useful to know. I've got I've got like a fixed blade on that I use on mine. Um, but I am almost out of the string, so um and I do need more because I don't like using the fixed blade when I'm uh you know, too near things that might make them break. But yeah, the one I picked up is, it's not as sturdy as my old one, um, but it's lighter and I had to sort of make a decision between going for the, you know, going for a lighter body or one that had like a, a massive metal hole up the, up the length of it and I was like I need to go for a lighter model so at least I can do that now but I'll definitely actually let me get cozy for fire degrade what 
Oh, you can get it at Walmart too. That's good to know. Yeah, no, that's awesome. I, I definitely appreciate that. I have to look for some different brands. This one's like, it's the strength of overcooked spaghetti. But yeah, I mean, all those little actions that you can do, they do add up. I think, you know, like if everyone just does one little tiny thing, then it adds up to like a significant impact. Yes. I know my playlist said don't play Christmas music, but I fucking love the Sugar Plum Fairy, so we're going with it. Yeah. That was huge. So in New- like, there was a massive ozone hole above New Zealand. Like, New Zealand had one of the highest skin cancer rates in the world because of the ozone hole being right above the country. And it, it had an, it absolutely had an impact. <clears throat> like you can see it when you look at <clears throat> all the epidemiology stuff. <laughs> okay. So I've searched for it on Amazon, so it'll be in my search history. So next time I open it up, it'll be like, would you like to know more? I'll be like, well, yes. Yes, I would. Oh, actually, that just reminds me. Oh. Oh, it fell off. Never mind. Oh, God, why? Hello? Okay, there we go. So yeah, I'm glad that I finally have a weed eater now. Um, and it's been so hot and dry. I don't have to think, I don't think I have to worry about mowing the lawn again for a while, but I definitely need to do, need the weed eater for the tricky spots. So be able to tidy the yard up a bit because it's getting pretty feral. And it makes me really uncomfortable in our yards at mess. Which which is almost all of the time. But you know, that's one thing that I know I can do. Right. Oh. So here's another sporkle section. This is This one should pop because it's on dark blue. Well. This is... Spool section of toast. Oh, Ape! Ape, I don't know if you're here still. Um. But I need you to pick a color if you are for your 
fourth wall sub scarf color chunk thing. Uh, any color from the pride flag. Any color from the pride flag. Yeah. Oh. Gotcha. You got it. So the one thing is I can't well I could uh, but with the, the the yarn and this the thread having different stretch I won't be able to do like an entire month worth of yarn in a um In a cake anymore but honestly that's fine making me do it in smaller sections is not a bad thing Yeah, I think it'll be it's it's subtle enough that it's not like super fancy. It's just a little leaks or something. I do almost wonder if I could tie on 
that three been separately when I could just cake all the yarn and then just add the thread in the sections I want but then I'm more likely to forget There's a, a massive session coming up <laughs> for Soma. <laughs> it was just like, it's going to be this big block of yellow. much yellow It is, it's so bright. My primary webcam makes it look like absolutely bonkers. <laughs> oh, my nose is so itchy. Like it's not, the saturation isn't quite as high as that. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's a lot going on here. Oh, it's like a 70s, like, teleportation time wobble. But yeah, the colors here look, are, are, Pretty close, actually. Yeah, I think I, I definitely feel like I'm enjoying this more than I was making the blanket. The blanket was... <laughs> hmm. By the end, I was, I was so done. I mean, the thing is, I still haven't finished the blanket. <laughs> and I, I was just... I'm like, uh, uh. <laughs> Second blanket is still not complete, but Buckma has the first blanket. I still have a bunch of stuff I need to set out, send out, and I'm mindful that it's like halfway through the fucking year. I'll get there eventually. Maybe you'll all get your Christmas treats from last year for Christmas this year.
It's like, it's one of those things where it just requires coordination of a few different things. So like... I've got to be able to get the printer out because I do shipping from home because it's cheaper. So I've got to be able to get the printer out and have enough disposable income for that month to do it. And have the the spoons at the same time. It's a lot of things to try and coordinate. But I will get there. I have not forgot that I owe everyone trees. Well, a lot of people trees. Not everyone. Everyone just didn't get a tree. Yeah, I like it. or I don't know why I keep counting. I can see where I'm supposed to be doing the stitches on this now. And it feels like it's been such a long time. Yeah, no, you're right. <laughs> yes. And the desire to not have to frog it and redo it. The same reason that I have to like weave in a, a tail like five, six, seven times.
Ugh, this catch in the back of my throat. I haven't had popcorn today, but that's what it feels like. All right, here we are on second school hall show. Yeah, that pops a lot more. Ish. Frickin'. This music makes me think of like Midsummer Murders. Oh no, now the blue and the the white are making me think of the TARDIS too. Yeah, 
<laughs> yeah. Durn tootin. Doctor Who scarf. It would be pretty cool. I, yes, I enjoy Doctor Who very much. I haven't seen anything after the end of the last Jodie Whittaker episode. But I was, I was raised on Doctor Who. Like, I have memories from being, like, very small and watching Doctor Who in black and white. Yeah, my, my mum was a, a dad, like, Doctor Who and, you know, Lord of the Rings and D&D &D and all that stuff. Okay. But now I want to make a TARDIS scarf, but how would that even work? It just have to be like a really long TARDIS. With like just police at each end or something. Okay, Echo. Have a good evening. Bye. Yeah, I remember like sneaking behind like sneaking into the front room where the tv was and like hiding behind a couch and like peeking over the top of it to try and catch it and like the the theme tune still gives me like the this whole like sense of like sneaky sneaky and i would find like random snacks and a apparently mum's friends who would come over to watch Doctor Who knew that I was there but I didn't know they knew. I just happened to find snacks behind the couch where I was hiding. So stealthy. It's the same with when they played D&D &D as well. There'd always be like a little bowl of chips or a piece of cake or something. I was so clever. But my grandparents had like um these fancy BBC printed uh, video cassettes. Um, of all the Doctor Who. I can still remember they had like grey covers. And it was like a grey sort of key texture on all of the, the cassette boxes. I remember watching like some of like the really old episodes with Grandma because my grandparents loved Doctor Who as well. And like, there was like one I remember watching, and there was like this, uh, a ship in space, and you can literally see like the fishing line, like, bobbing the ship around. And then there was like this, like, slug monster, and it's very clearly like a person just wrapped in bubble wrap, wrap or something. Oh man, Red Dwarf is a laugh.
In one year I was house sitting a friend and I basically just watched like the entirety of Red Dwarf. It was a it was just such a fun evening. What well, weekend day? Yeah, we had a pretty, we had a, a mix of British <clears throat> and American TV, but it was mostly British. Um, but we had shows like MacGyver and MASH. Can't remember anything else offhand. Um. Baywatch. That was when I was older. Um, Knight Rider. I remember Knight Rider being a thing because uh, the replica of Kit was at the mall when I was little, and I was like so excited. We definitely watch Star Trek as well. And we had uh, Sesame Street. But apparently Sesame Street is the show that I was watching when I learned how to turn off TV. Parent, I don't know what it was, but I did not like Sesame Street at all. I don't know if it was like a character, but apparently every time the theme tune would start, I would go up and turn the TV off. It's a weird man. Nick at night is at like Nickelodeon. Oh, thank you, Luna. The it is. It's a very poignant song. Oh. But I also remember only seeing like half episodes of MASH, which is weird because I'm pretty sure it was only like the episodes were only like 20 minutes long. But I remember getting annoyed because I was always getting sent to bed halfway through it. And I also remember, I think. Hulahan is probably like the first like female character I really remember off TV. I think when I was watching it, I wasn't really old enough to understand the stories. And I don't think it was until I was a lot older that I realized that the, this, this war in Korea was actually a thing. Like, I just thought it was a made up thing. Because we weren't really taught that at school. We weren't taught that at school at all, actually.
Yeah. Oh, okay, it's done. Yeah, it's like, it, it's a... I don't know, a blazing end of curse. Yes. I believe it. But now I'm intrigued. Oh, you tricky bugger! I mean, valid question, though. I don't... I don't remember... Any anticipation specifically about Santa? Or any particular distress? Oh, okay, there you go. And you're like, why would that be there? Yeah. Hmm. I think I like I remember it being like part of the whole season, but not being like, you know, if you don't go to bed, Santa won't come. But it was as much a part of Christmas as like Christmas decorations or it was just a character much like watching cartoons on TV, I think. It's kind of my brain went with it. Yeah. But I don't know if I had any particular, like... I don't know. I have no idea if there was, like, a, a particular moment where I was like, oh, wait, this is real. Because even when I was like nine or ten, I would still get like super excited for Christmas. But fuck, I still do. <laughs> I'm like, yes! I always had a lot of fun watching my my nephew when he was little. Like, just buzz with the excitement. You do too, Tom? That's amazing. Like, the first year that our nephew was, like, old enough uh, to get excited about gifts uh, and to be able to identify things, we... We got him a bunch of Matchbox cars, just like fuckloads of Matchbox cars. And I wrapped them all individually because that's part of the fun, right? When you're little is like opening up all the gifts. And he was like half an hour of like unwrapping a car and being like, a Matchbox car. And then another one, he'd be like, and another Matchbox car. And then he just went like, oh, <laughs> and another one, and another one. And he was just as excited about the last one as he was about the first because he was like, I was like, that's the good shit right there. Before they get cynical about it and they just have fun. Yeah, I, I kind of have, I have mixed feelings. Like the last few years has been kind of like meh. Um, but it was, it's fun, it was fun sharing those experiences with the nephew. 
We we don't we haven't done gifts in a in a while really. Like Flynn's mum will ask me if there's anything I want. Um But like last year we didn't do anything at all. If we did like family gatherings, I'll just do like cookies. I'll just make a batch of cookies and cakes, whatever, and just take that over for everyone to share. Um And that, you know, but honestly, I'm quite happy just staying at home <laughs> and not doing family events. Yeah. I don't even think, I don't know. I can't even remember what I bought Flint before. Flint's not really into stuff. like physical things and for a while I could just get him steam gift cards because I knew that would go down well but now you know being a streamer if there's a game that you're really interested in you just like send off an email and be like Ooh -woo. and then if you're lucky you get the game key uh, so <laughs> Steam gift cards aren't really a thing that I can get him either. So usually I just like make him like a, a special, like a, a giant cookie cake or cook a meal that I know he likes. And that's kind of about it. But that's fine. That's totally fine. And he knows he can just take me to the craft store and I'll be happy. Yeah. But yeah, honestly, I can't. I can't even remember last Christmas. <laughs> it, it just kind of blows into one. Honestly, everyone's like the gift cards are so impersonal. I'd much rather like a gift card for a store, or even like a Visa gift card that I could use on whatever I needed then you know like one of those 9.99 gifts from Target or you know like there's only so many gimmicky pinball machine money boxes that you can have right Flint's mum is really thoughtful she's like super yeah or you can just be like, all right, well, here's your budget. Tell me what you want. <laughs> and then there's no disappointment. Everyone just gets what they want. I think I've had like, my instant pot was a gift. I think I've had a vacuum cleaner. That's what I asked for. Actually, I think last year um, I just bought myself a couple of bras with Flint's credit card and I was like, you bought me some bras and he's like, okay. <laughs> yeah. He still, Flint still labels all his gifts as being from Santa. Which is, I think, fun. Cause he's like, it's not about who gave it, it's about who gets it. Oh yeah, that makes total sense. Actually, my, my friend was in chat the other day asking, a um, friend that I'm visiting next month, he was asking if I had any, 
any specific requirements with food. And I was like, nah. I mean, other than ice cream and soy, like, maybe not cherries. And then we were talking about how you'd put the, the two and two together with the cherries on the almonds. He's like, that's fine. I don't like them either. <laughs> Oh, there you go. That's a good idea. Yeah, nut allergies, it's a pretty big deal. Like, I have one friend that I know has some a, a pretty strong... Um, you can't digest it? Okay. I have a friend who's got a really strong issue, a uh, strong reaction to it. To anything with tree nuts. I mean, that's as good as an allergy for me, really. You still have a di a, a uh, adverse reaction. But I was like, I don't, I don't really have any issues. I mean, soy kind of can't really do like tofu. And a small, small ounce of soy sauce, but other than that, as long as there's a bathroom nearby, I'm good with ice cream. <laughs> and Dean's like, that's all right, we've got extra bathrooms. I'm like, all right, we're sweet. <laughs> we're all set. Oh, that's interesting. Um, yeah, pretty much. I mean, I'm okay with like hard cheeses, but like milk, ice cream, uh, sour cream. It's all a nope. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, no, it's it's definitely a lactose thing for me. Um, like I can pinpoint, uh, like when it happened. Cause I remember going to the doctor and being like, what the fuck? Cause I used to eat stupid amounts of ice cream. Like, I don't have gallons, like a half gallon of ice cream. I don't know what two liters of ice cream is. But I used to get like two liters of ice cream at a time and just like scarf it. And then I got really sick. Um, they thought I had like an ulcer and all sorts of other things. Um, and I couldn't eat properly. I, I mean, I was pretty crook and I lost a lot of weight. And then after I, it turned out it was depression. That was fun. Um, but after that, I couldn't eat ice cream and eventually I went to the doctor and my doctor was like you, your gut flora is basically just got all destroyed and you're not making the, the enzyme needed to to deal with lactose and I was like well shit <laughs> that's not fair but I remember sitting there in my in the doctor's office at university being like no why? My ice cream. Stupid biology. Whose idea was it to biology? Sparkles. So weird. But yeah, fermented, um, 
fermented cheeses and like yogurt, that's fine. And it's basically because there's no like toast left in them once they've been stewing a while. I'm still not entirely sure on this ball. Okay. I think I just... I'm doing my usual double thinking things. Overthinking. Okay, so the next few are all spore holes. So I'm not going to cut the thread, I'm just going to keep on adding the yarn and work through it. No point. I'm trying to pick a color for... Oh, wait. Okay, that doesn't help because I don't have a Twitch profile. That's very helpful. Alright, what's going to look good in there? What's going to break this up? Pink, purple, lots of yellow. So, like a blue. I think we're going to go with a light blue. I have a, a, a Google spreadsheet that I keep track of everyone's colors on.
It's very fancy. There's going to be this big sparkly chunk, which will show, I guess, when, when we kicked off the both wall memberships. There's a few people here who I didn't get color preferences from, so I'm just using like the same as their last sub stripe. Figure that'll do the trick. And then I'll just make sure to take a note. For any new people. that comes about or any resubs. Actually, I was going to Blue, but I think I'm going to do white just because it breaks it up and I'm curious to see what it looks like. There's not nearly enough black or brown in this. White, black or brown seem to be ones that people aren't very interested in. I think it's a really pretty brown that I've got too. Thank you. 
All right, so this is... Purple is the last section of... Spore Hall. Right. So I just carry on. So pretty. I really like this pink. So it makes me want cotton candy. Oh no, now my hair's getting there.
Okay, I like the I really like the sparkle in the pink. I think that's pretty. You know that in some ways, flipping this this thread through it all is going to make it stronger and more resilient. Much stronger. I don't know why, but this is making me think about Project Zomboy. I don't know if it's the music or... crochet or some weird combination So do that right, one, two, three, four, five.
I like it in the yellow too. Apparently I'm just not a fan of the sparkle in the green. It's funny, I'm like, I keep on swinging between like, liking it and not liking it at all. But I'm this far into it now, so I'm not changing it. Yeah, this is what I was curious about, what it would look like with the white yarn. Um... Alright Wayne, enjoy your dinner. Thanks for popping in. Getting a dainty finger. I'm trying to think what I want to cook for dinner. really pretty through the white actually
Worried is gonna mess with the population, mess with the condition of the rose tree. Definitely, I mean, it's gonna affect the E, but I don't expect all of them will be in a clump like this again. So this is the last section. There's only one more spawn. No, there's two more sporkles after this. Not for a little while. I'm just wondering if I've got enough stuff to do burrito bowls. Should be able to do that pretty quickly on a break. And then everything just sits in the slow cooker. Turn the instant pot in the rice cooker. I don't have any lime juice. Lime juice is kind of important for the the brown rice. It makes it palatable. Plans for next week. What's the date next week? What are we looking at? Where we're at. Week starting the 10th. You know, it's so weird that weeks start on a Sunday here. It's so bizarre. To me, a week starts on a Monday. 
Do all these calendars here start with a week on a Sunday? I don't know. I don't have any fixed things. The week after, there's a, there's a game that I'll be playing. It'll be in early access. Maybe a couple, actually. I don't know. So that's down to the air complete. All right. I think I'm going to call it there. I know it's early, but I'm really fucking hungry. Uh, yeah, now I'm just hungry. Find something to eat for food. Eat for fooding. Um, and maybe we'll do something extra this week. Raid browser. Love, love, love the raid browser. Oh, wow. All right, what do we got? Same category. Mm, not that. Oh. Apparently there's a bunch of people in the crafting category that we've not met now. It's been so long, I don't know any of these names that are in the crafting category. Okay. Oh, whoops. We right into an art stream. What is this? Freaking ads. How am I supposed to? Okay, I don't know what this person is doing because I'm behind an ad break, but there's a cat. And. I'll wait for the ad break to finish. You know what? I'm just making it difficult. I don't know why I'm making it more difficult. They're literally the easiest. Uh, easiest thing to do. Um, okay, we're going to start with that. Do that. All right, I'm gonna send you guys over to Soma. I'm literally, I literally have Soma's channel up, and I'm like, coming on a raid. All right, I'm gonna raid uh, Soma Gistro. They are a lovely human. They are playing Baldur's Gate three, so a slightly different vibe. Um, Soma is just a really wonderful person. Um, so I'm, I'm sure you will have a nice time over there. I know this week has just been like. A fucking weird week. 
I just... I don't know. It's just been a weird week. Next week's going to be better, okay? That's the plan. We're all going to have a better week next week. Um, and I'm going to try and find something to eat. I feel like my attention span has not been great today, so... And it's really affected the ease of this. All right. Here's... Um, raid messages if you would like to copy and paste those um and there's me on social if you want to follow me there um i haven't been doing a stream schedule lately because i i mean it doesn't really change that much to be honest plan on starting 4 p.m wednesday through sundays probably gonna be vintage story maybe some trucks maybe some crafting probably some other survival games um but you can also join Discord if you uh, are curious what what I'm going on, what what I'm doing. Um, so yeah. Uh, thank you for hanging out with me this week and keeping me company. It's been very up and down, and I've appreciated a bunch. I'm about to get timed out, so I'm going to shut up now. All right. Good night. <laughs>